Here we go again. This is Chris and he brought lovely Star Trek models. It's good to see you here. Uh, and there are some new ships. Yeah, so the collection has grown quite a bit. Um, I'm at 75 now, which is really exciting. Uh, and just about half of them have been redesigned in some way. Better part usage, uh, better build instructions. Uh, really trying to make the best models uh, for Trekkies out there. Um, so if we want to start on one end and kind of work our way down. Okay, so this top row is all Enterprises. So we've added uh, a redesigned Enterprise NX-01, the original A, B, and we move over to C. Uh, the Enterprise D popped up in Star Trek Picard Season 3 unexpectedly is brand new. And it's kind of sister ship from the TNG finale, All Good Things, with three nacelles and some additional weapons is also featured. We've got the Enterprise E, and then joining us from Star Trek Online and Star Trek Picard Season 3 is the Enterprise F. And here is a pretty special ship. It started off as the USS Titan in Star Trek Picard and is now the USS Enterprise G. Um, all, both of those ships are all new this year. And in the second row, we've got some more from uh, Ships of the Line uh, collection. So really featured in Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager. Uh, these ships here featured heavily in Star Trek First Contact. Uh, we have the Centaur, uh, which is new for 2023, featured in Deep Space Nine. The Prometheus, the Equinox, some fan favorites. Uh, and then here is kind of our section of new Trek ships. So we've got the Shenzhou and the USS Discovery from Star Trek Discovery. Uh, and here is the USS Enterprise from Strange New Worlds, second season uh, just premiering on Paramount+. Plus. And then down here is one of my favorite parts of the collection, which is a history of ships named Enterprise, starting with the 1775 Top Sail Schooner, the Enterprise CVN-65 aircraft carrier, our Space Shuttle Enterprise, and a future Enterprise ship uh, featured uh, in Star Trek Picard and Star Trek Enterprise, and then a really cool model of a ring ship um, that came just before the Enterprise NX-01. Uh, and now we're going to move on to some ships that have founded the Federation, so the, the Phoenix from Star Trek First Contact, uh, the ship that first landed on Earth, a uh, Vulcan ship, and then a future Vulcan ship, uh, an Andorian cruiser and a Tellarite cruiser. Uh, all of this right here is, is new at the convention this year. A couple Cleon ships have been redesigned. We've got some new, some new weapons on the wings of that bird of prey. Uh, and then one of my favorites, uh, the Cleon Vorcha attack cruiser using Lego sand green, one of my favorite colors. Uh, and finally, uh, we've got the Cleon Negvar class, uh, which is the new Cleon flagship, which has some pretty cool detailing underneath the model. Uh, with some weapons platforms and some brick-built uh, nacelles going both directions, which is pretty fun. Uh, Romulan vessels, uh, this is all new for 2023. Uh, we've got some great detailing on the head of that warbird there. Uh, it's open in the middle, which is a pretty cool feature of that ship. Uh, and then we've added a Romulan scout ship and a Romulan Valdor class warbird uh, from Star Trek Nemesis. And here's where uh, some of my favorites of the collection are. This is all, all of these ships are new this year. The Ferengi Marauder, featured uh, heavily in Star Trek Next Generation. Cardassian Galore class from Deep Space Nine and TNG, featuring our trans red uh, weapons platform there. Uh, the Jem'Hadar attack ship with some lavender sand blue accents. Uh, and then from Star Trek Voyager, we've got the Kazon Raider. Uh, with some nice trans orange detailing in the engines. Uh, and another one of my favorites, Species 8472. Uh, this whole thing is constructed uh, with a bar running through it uh, and then adding some pieces on top of that to form this sort of triad arrangement there. Very unique ship. Uh, and the biggest ship in this part of the collection, the Shrike uh, from Star Trek Picard Season 3. Um, it's got some pretty cool, I'm just gonna pick it up here. Some pretty cool detailing in the back there for the engines, over a dozen engines there. 
Uh, and then finally in this front row is uh, ships from the Kelvin timeline, so Star Trek 2009, Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. Uh, the jellyfish uh, is new this year. One of my favorite part usages, that's a dinosaur tail in sand green, and then a car spoiler for one of the fins that rotate there. Um, and this whole middle row is all stuff from uh, Star Trek Picard season three. So we start off with uh, La Serena and the Zhang He from the first couple seasons of Picard. And then we have the four nacelled USS Stargazer, which is a pretty cool model. Uh, one of the largest Starfleet ships in the collection. And then we pick up with the USS Excelsior, uh, the Elios, which is one of my favorite ships, some great uh, dark blue accents. This was the, the Crusher's vessel in Star Trek Picard. And then a really fun model, this is the Fleet Museum, uh, which houses many of the ships in this collection in universe in Star Trek. We have the USS Intrepid with its kind of unique deflector dish that hangs down uh, from the main saucer section. Uh, I'd like to shout out this piece right here, our one by three double-sided uh, handle piece that's really come in handy for a lot of these models. Um, and then we finish out with the animated group. So the USS Cerritos, one of the most popular ships from Star Trek Lower Decks, and the USS Titan, which made its first appearance in Lower Decks. Uh, and then finally, the Vancouver and the USS Protostar from Star Trek Prodigy. And then one of my favorites of the collection is our Borg Cube, also new for this year. Um, it's over 1,500 pieces, symmetrical on all sides, and is the only ship in the collection with a play feature. So it has a built-in sphere that can pop in and out just like in Star Trek First Contact. So that's everything for this year. Um, it was originally uh, 43 models uh, for Brickworld 2022 and is now up to 75 models. Um, and the entire collection, I've got instructions available on my website, minitrekmox.com, um, so you can build all of these for your own collection. This is a lovely collection here, so I would like to know from you here in the end, if you can pick one starship to travel to the stars, which one is it? Oh, that's a tough question, but I'm going to have to go with the Enterprise from Strange New Worlds, my personal favorite. A little bit of the old uh, design language from the original series mixed in with some new uh, features. One of the darker color variations uh, for the deflector dish in the bottom and some nice detailing on the nacelles. I think that would make a, a pretty good ship to go out into space into. Awesome, so I will take the D, I will pick the D here yeah, okay. and uh, we will travel to the stars. It was so good to see you again here at Brickfair, Brickworld Chicago, not Brickfair, Brickworld Chicago, and this is a very unique collection here. Thanks so much, see you next time. Thanks.